just made it through security. Now I'm walking towards my gate. I think I still have plenty of time for the lounge, but it won't be open until 6 a.m. So let's see um, uh, if I can just get in before my flight takes off here at 7.30. And uh, Juan is actually flying out the same day as me today. And he's already here at the airport. He got here like 3 a.m. in the morning. And it's about, I say 5.30, no, 5.45 now. And um, we're trying to meet up, rendezvous at one of the lounges here. It's the, what's the Turkish Airlines lounge? It's pretty nice, but I'm gonna try to meet up with him here. There's really no one here yet. <laughs> Gonna try to do a time lapse here. Hopefully hit this lounge as well. Turkish airline. Doesn't open until six, so we have to wait a little bit. And then I walked from the main terminal to get here. And it's pretty good before a flight because it gets your blood flowing. So when you sit a long time, you don't get fatigued. So that's my tip for you guys. So I got really lucky this morning and I was going to my gate after getting past security, which was gate 74. And I just inadvertently sit in gate 76. So just because it was more quiet and there was nobody sitting there. So there's more room. So one of the attendants from Delta Airlines walked up to me and said, are you flying to Houston? And I said, yeah. So uh, turns out that the flight was leaving right there at 6 a.m. So I didn't have to wait till 7.30 a.m. And he checked me in, I walked in, got here to uh, Atlanta early, and then found another flight that took me to Houston as well. So two flights in a row and I got here to uh, Houston pretty early um, two hours I had a schedule actually so I just been hanging around just working on uh, code and uh, going over stuff but yeah got really lucky this morning um, so in this situation if you get to the airport early next time just run to your gate or manage to go to uh, another gate that has the same destination as you, where you're going you can ask them for something called a seat request that way they can try to get you on that same flight and get there earlier so I would have gone to the lounge here in Houston hobby but it, I think it's only for departures not so much for uh, arrivals so I just sit in the common area for the most of the time but yeah lesson learned next time if I get there early I'm gonna end up going to different gates to see if I can get flights early uh, you know just move further along and uh, you know it's never a bad thing I slept a lot this morning I uh, was hanging out with my cousins yesterday and we were just driving around down to uh, Bel Air down here in Houston um, nothing really you know cool to see so I didn't record at all and I we just hung out talked and we went to go eat pho it's a Vietnamese dish if you guys haven't heard it before um, definitely pretty good here in Houston they do it just right um, and the aftertaste you don't have that MSG aftertaste like with most places either and there was a lot of flavor and everything too um, there's gonna be a picture here so you guys can see what it looked like but a lot of toppings and everything so uh, I like it here I think it's better than Cali yes <laughs> compared to uh, the the foe over there so I woke up this morning, just did some workouts, uh, body weight stuff, and my cousin had some free weights, so I just used that. And then um, I was just working on some Spanish this morning, and then lunchtime here, plan to uh, head out to get some Texas barbecue with my cousins. Uh, I'll probably be recording some of that. But yeah, just uh, hanging out at the house this morning, trying to take care of my own things. Um, I was pretty tired. Uh, I slept. I didn't wake up until 9 or 10, which is unusual for me. I'm usually up by 7 or 8. But yeah, just going to get my day started and uh, I'll show you more of around Texas later.
So this is Killian's barbecue. You want to say hi? What's up? What's up? I didn't hear nothing. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to eat. We're starving. <laughs> What do you usually buy from here? Looks like a space shuttle or something over there. <laughs> NASA. Oh, it's crazy. Oh, that's like a bar or food place. Huh? He's a good boy. No, don't lick my camera. <laughs> it's a dog park. Yeah, those are all bats. They're going out to uh, oh. hunt bugs. Gonna, gonna, gonna bat them. So there's a bunch of bats coming out. They're going out to hunt. He said it smells like ammonia here, right? That's what it is. Is there uh, urine or something? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, they're still coming out. They're all down there. Hey, I'm not. Oh, really? <laughs> Buffalo Bayou? But there's no, um, like, bats on here, right? Uh, no, it's, they're mostly over there. I guess because it's so dark. Yeah, they don't like this light here. So, oh, this is so. This is the Jackson Hill Bridge, right here. Yeah, I guess it's called. The one we just passed by was on it's, Bond Drive. We just passed. It's we, called the Walk Bats Colony. Oh, the Walk. It's huge. Bad boy. Watch your dial, you know? 